so hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel guys today in this video we will be discussing a type of filtration equipment which is nowadays worldwide use and the equipment is sparkler filters guys in this video we will be covering what is a sparkler filter principle on which the sparkler filter operates then we will be looking at its construction working and application of sparkler filter in the end so guys now let's get started with what is a sparkler filter guys a sparkler filter is a type of filter that uses a filtration medium such as diatomaceous earth or activated carbon to remove the impurities from a liquid or gas guys they are a popular type of filtration equipment that are commonly used in the pharmaceutical food and beverage industry and chemical industry the filter is constructed of a cylindrical vessel that contain a series of horizontal filter plates with a vertical frames and they are called as sparklers and guys the filter medium is placed on each of the plate and the liquid or gas to be filtered is passed through the medium and this leads to removal of impurities present in the fluid okay guys so this was a brief about sparkler filter now we will be looking at on which principle does the sparkler filter operate guys the principle of sparkler filter operation is based on the principle of gravity filtration okay the liquid to be filtered is fed into the filter and it flows through the filter medium which is under gravitational force the impurities present in the fluid are trapped by the medium by the filter medium and the filtered liquid is collected in a container which is below the filter okay guys the filter medium is held in a place on the filter plate by the vertical frame which are called as sparklers these sparklers are designed to hold the medium securely in the place while allowing the liquid or the fluid to pass through the sparklers also provide a path for the filtered liquid to exit the filter okay guys to sum it up guys the main principle based on which the sparkler filter operates is gravitational force okay guys in summary the sparkler filter operates based on the principle of filtration through horizontal plates covered with a filter medium okay the liquid slurry containing impurities is introduced and as it passes through the filter medium solid particles are trapped and forms a cake this cake is periodically removed and allows continuous filtration okay guys so this was the principle of sparkler filter now moving on in this video we will be looking at the construction of sparkler filter guys the construction of sparkler filter involves a key components that work together to facilitate the filtration process here's a brief overview on the typical construction of a sparkler filter the first component is the filter housing the main structure of sparkler filter is a cylindrical or horizontal vessel that houses the filter plates and the other components the housing is typically made up of stainless steel to withstand the pressure and corrosive nature of the certain fluids then guys the second component for the filtration unit is filter plates horizontal plates are mounted inside the filter housing these plates are often made up of stainless steel and are covered with a filter medium such as filter cloth or filter paper the design of the plates allows for the formation of a cake layer during the filtration process okay guys then the third component is sparklers the vertical frames are known as sparklers are attached to the filter plates these frames hold the filter medium securely in a place and provide support for cake formation they also create a path for the filtered liquid to exit the filter okay guys then the next component is about inlet and outlet ports the filter has inlet and outlet ports for the entry of the liquid to be filtered and the exit of the clarified liquid respectively the design and placement of these ports may vary depending on the specific model and applications okay guys then the fifth component is of cake discharge mechanism a mechanism for removing the cake of trapped solids is integrated into the sparkler filter this can involve backwashing scraping or using compressed air to dislodge and remove the cake from the filter plates okay 
and the sixth component is pre-coating system. Many of the sparkler filters incorporate a pre-coating system. This system introduces a filter aid such as diatomaceous earth or activated carbon onto the filter medium before the filtration process begins. This pre-coating enhances the efficiency of the filter. Okay guys, the seventh component is the pressure gauge. A pressure gauge is often installed to monitor the pressure inside the filter housing. An increase in pressure may indicate the need for cake removal or maintenance. Okay? And the last component is the support structure. Guys, the filter is mounted on a support structure which may include legs or base to ensure the stability during the operation. Okay guys? These all components, these all 8 components work together to create a reliable and efficient sparkler filter for various industrial applications such as pharmaceutical, chemical and food industries where fine filtration is crucial for product quality. The specific design and features of sparkler filter may vary among manufacturers and models. Okay? Now guys, moving on in this video, we are looking at the working of sparkler filters. The working of a sparkler filter involves a series of steps in filtration process. Here mentioned below are the steps which shows how the filtration process is carried out in sparkler filters. So guys, before starting the filtration, the first step is of pre-coating. The filter plates are pre-coated with a filter aid such as diatomaceous earth or activated carbon. This creates a porous layer of filter medium which enhance its filtration efficiency. Okay guys? After the pre-coating step comes the slurry inlet. The liquid to be filtered known as the slurry is introduced into the sparkler filter. This slurry typically consists of the impurities or solid particles. Okay guys, now the third step is of filtration. The slurry flows through the filter plates covered with a pre-coated filter medium and the solid particles in the slurry are trapped on the surface of the filter medium which forms a cake layer. The pre-coated layer acts as a barrier and allows the liquid to pass through it while retaining the solid impurities in form of a cake. This filtration step is involved with the cake formation step. Guys, with going time, the trapped solid particles accumulate on the filter medium, forming a cake. This cake layer enhances the filtration efficiency by providing an additional barrier for fine particles. Okay guys, after the step of cake formation, now comes the step of temporary halt. When the cake layer becomes thick enough to impact the filtration process, it is temporary halted. Okay? After these steps comes the cake removal step. The cake is removed from the filter plates and this can be done through various methods such as backwashing, scrapping or using compressed air to dislock and discard the cake which is the accumulated solid particles. Okay? After cake removal, it all starts again which we call the continuous operation. That is, after cake removal, the filtration process is resumed allowing for the continuous operation. The sparkler filter is designed to operate in cycles of filtration, cake formation and then removal. Okay? And the last step for this process of filtration is effluent discharge. The clarified liquid now free from the solid particle is discarded as the final product or sent for further processing. Okay guys? So to sum it up, the sparkler filter is designed with horizontal plates, filter medium and sparklers to allow for efficient gravity filtration. The pre-coating step and periodic removal of the cake layer contributes to filters effectiveness in removing fine solid particles from liquid. This filtration process is commonly used in industries where a high degree of filtration is required such as pharmaceutical, chemical and food processing industries. Ok guys, so this was a brief about the working of sparkler filters. Now guys, at the end in this video, we are looking at the application of sparkler filters. So guys, there are three main applications of sparkler filters. And guys, as you all know that sparkler filters are used in a wide range of industries. 
including pharmaceutical, food and beverage industry, and chemical industries. They are used to filter liquid and gas to remove the impurities and particles by ensuring the final product is safe for consumption or use. Talking about the first application, in pharmaceutical industries, sparkler filters are used to filter medicines, vaccines, and other medical products. They are even used to remove impurities and particles from the product, ensuring that they are safe for use. Then the second application is in food and beverage industries. Sparkler type filters are used to filter wine, beer, juice and other beverages. They are used to remove particles from beverages ensuring that they are safe for consumption. Ok guys? And the third application is the chemical industry. Sparklers are used in chemical industries to filter chemicals and solvents. They are used to remove impurities and particles from the chemicals and solvents and ensuring that they are safe for use. Ok? Sparkler kind of filters are also used in water treatment plants to filter the water and remove impurities such as dirt, sand and debris. Ok guys? To conclude this video, sparkler filters are a wide use type of filtration equipment that are used in different industries. That is to remove impurities and particles from the gas and liquids. They are simple to operate, easy to maintain and provides a high level of filtration efficiency. Sparkler filters can be used with different types of filter media and are suitable for wide range of applications. They are cost effective and have a long service life. If you are looking for a filter solution for your business, sparkler filters are definitely worth considering. Ok guys? So guys this was a brief video on sparkler filters where we discuss about what is a sparkler filter, then on which principle does the sparkler filter work, we also looked at its construction, working, application of sparkler filters. So guys that's all for this video, hope you like this video and thank you for watching. And guys for more video related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel. And guys feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.